She's so scared. <laughs> so beautiful. Dancers. My, my name is Dan. Dan. Welcome, Welcome to, to the world, world of Extra. extra. And my name is Nicholas. I am finally back in my home country, Philippines, specifically in Cebu. And obviously, every time I come to Cebu, I have to come and stay at J Park Island Resort. But first and foremost, we have to go get breakfast. Nicolette is here with me as usual. Hi, miss. Good morning. Hello, kay nom nom pagan ako. Yes. I really. Thank you. They remember me. Good morning. Hello, ikaw lang yun Hi! I actually just came from Korea. I ended up not vlogging in Korea because I was spending time with my <laughs> But it feels like Korea here because 90% of people probably are Korean. If not like 95%. Like almost everyone. <laughs> my mom used to work for hotels back in the day. And she said this is the best hotel breakfast buffet in all of Cebu. Today I just got a bunch of my regulars. Pancit, rice, chicken, I don't know, beef. <laughs> Every time we come to the Philippines, I get reminded of uh, Filipino food just being the best cuisine in the world. The fucking boiled plantain. I am so tempted to get Fruit Loops, but I'm not allowed to drink dairy. Ang ang ari good. Oh my god, I think they're gonna sing happy birthday for breakfast. Look at them, they're gonna do it. Oh my god, it's so cute. This is so Filipino. I just asked them to sing us happy birthday as well. So ya own man Oh my god, they're gonna do it. Happy birthday to I lied. This is like six months in advance and they gave us a cake. As usual here at J Park, breakfast was amazing. But I want to show you guys the hotel room we're staying at. So as you guys can see, this is the main entrance. And when you enter, you can see that there is a nice little kitchen moment over here. And we also have the little mini bar, fridge of course, and a bunch of storage. Of course, we have the nice little couch over here. When we entered, they greeted us with this amazing fruit platter. I make sure to eat a bunch of fruits whenever I'm in the Philippines because obviously fruits are super expensive in Japan. I'm so excited, you guys. They also greeted me with this card and I was honestly so shook. Last time I came, they also did this for me, but I love that they literally just make a custom one every single time. As you can see, it's just a bunch of pictures of me and a bunch of activities that they recommend and a nice little note. Let's also unbox this little gift that they gave me. I think it might be a journal based on like what it feels like. I was Oh my god, what? It wasn't just a journal. It literally says World of Extra Stan Gusset. It's like wood and it's like burnt into it. You guys know I love journaling. Thank you so much, J Park. I'm obsessed. Obviously, they gave me a bunch of gifts as well. Dried mango. The room is massive, you guys. This is actually insane. I love that I have this nice little mirror over here. It's so easy to get ready in the morning. Behind the mirror, we have a TV, and it's also where the bedroom is. As you guys can see over here, in this nice little corner over here, we have this nook to get ready. Some more closet space. And the bathroom is also massive. Toilet and the shower. The shower has clear glass doors so whenever someone showers you just see them naked but the main thing i fell in love with the view 
is our own private pool. You can skinny dip here. The fences are super high and no other rooms can see us. The top floor is actually another hotel room, but they don't have windows on this side and they don't have access to the pool. So it's literally just our own pool. So nice in the morning, you just get up. Dip in the pool, a trip to the spa, and last days in my shade. The hotel is called J Park Island Resort. You guys know this is my favorite place in the Philippines. And honestly, my favorite place in the world. My stress levels here are just so different. I have no stress at all. Nothing matters but myself. And I know this is a huge privilege. And I know that I get to experience these things because of you guys. So I would like to thank you guys so, so much. And of course, thank you so much to J Park Island Resort for providing me with such a beautiful place to stay. Also, I wanted to quickly talk to you guys about something because I would say that I'm kind of insecure about it or like starting to get insecure about it. I know it's like very first world problem. But you know, communication is number one, so I would like to communicate my feelings even to you guys, even though like physically right now I'm literally just talking to a camera, but I know behind this camera there are real people and I know you guys care for me and I care for you too. When I uploaded that video of me going to the Taylor Swift concert two weeks ago, there were actually a lot of comments saying, oh my god Stan, you're being so unrelatable. And some people were saying that I'm starting to get out of touch. At first, because I'm human and because I'm the person I am, I got so defensive. So in my head I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, I'm not out of touch. But I I decided to like reflect on myself and like journal and everything. Of course, the things I'm doing and the things I'm experiencing and the things I'm sharing start to get unrelatable because I'm getting a lot of these opportunities, which of course I'm not gonna say no to. So I'm kind of in this like weird place where I'm like, do I share all these things with my viewers and followers even though it's like really not relatable? Literally staying at one of my favorite places in the whole world, really luxurious, really expensive, and sharing that online. But I want you guys to know that I'm not sharing these things to like boast about the luxurious life that I live. I know I'm very privileged and I would like to say, oh my god, I work so, so hard to get here. But come on, a lot more people work harder than me. And this is all social media. And I got all this because of social media and because all of your guys' support. So it's not very realistic for me to be very defensive and be like, oh uh, no, I work so hard to get here. Because I recognize that to some extent there is luck involved in this. But one thing I would really like to say though is I don't feel like I've changed. And I always talk to my friends and family about this as well. They say I'm still the same person and I hope you guys think I'm still the same person person as well. I'm just getting all these opportunities and experiences and I'm actually really happy that I get to share these online with you guys too through YouTube videos and through my content because at the end of the day I am a content creator and it's my job honestly to like show you guys these things. I don't know it's really weird. I guess all I can say really is thank you so much for allowing me to live my dream life because I remember very vividly when I used to live here in Cebu. I was in elementary school and I really wanted to come to this resort. Before last year I've only ever come here maybe once or twice even though I've lived more than half of my life in the Philippines in Cebu. I used to live literally like down the street from here. But I would tell my mom that I really wanted to come here and I always wanted to stay at this hotel. One day my mom bought Stubby and I a day pass at their water park here and that was one of the most memorable moments of my life and I always told myself that one day I'm gonna stay at this hotel. And because of your guys' support I'm able to do this now so it's honestly like a full circle moment for me. <laughs> it sounds so dramatic but every time I stay here I just think back to the young me. Oh my fucking God, this is so cheesy. And I get to take my mom here as well. So yeah, just a little segue and just a little rant or bent or communication. communication. The comments are always open for you guys to talk to me. So go say something. So it doesn't sound like I'm rambling at nothing. But yeah, thank you for listening. So I came to the pool to work, actually. I'm actually so scared because there's a lot of children just like running around and I don't want my laptop to get wet. So I'm sitting as far away from the pool as possible, but this place is literally surrounded by the pool. But like I said, even on vacation, the grind continues. I'm editing a video. That's actually one of the things I'm proud of about myself is I'm very consistent. But yeah, I do work hard in my own way. So I hope you guys appreciate that too, that there's always a video every single week, even when I'm living my dream life. <laughs> also, this apple, I didn't want this, but it's honestly for my outfit. <laughs> like my outfit was just like all black and there was no color and I felt like just like a green apple is perfect to just like elevate. Is that stupid? Is that dumb? Thank you, miss. Thank you. I got myself a nice little watermelon shake. This is what luxury is about. And I promise I'm not out of touch, you guys. Please, I'm just trying to enjoy my watermelon shake. <laughs> Oh my god, it's actually so fucking hot. Literally, I always forget how hot the Philippines is every time I come back. It's literally 29 degrees Celsius today. So this is perfect to cool me down. I'm just hoping my computer doesn't overheat from all the editing I'm doing. You guys know how crazy my editing is. I ended up getting chicken nuggets and fries as well because I got hungry. Mm. But yeah, so I'm just gonna be editing and I'm gonna talk to you later. Hi, Nick. Welcome back from work. 
How was work today? It was good. Maybe my mom will watch this. It was good, mom. <laughs> <laughs> they are having like a nice little party over there. We got jealous, so we're gonna have our own party as well. Actually, last year, Nicolette and I went to Shangri-La Hotel for dinner. That was our Valentine's dinner. We were each other's Valentine's last year, and we were wearing red, if you guys remember the video. We made it to the restaurant, and we're so excited for the receptionist. She's the sole reason we're coming back here, because we just had such an amazing time with her. You guys, the restaurant restaurant is so beautiful. Hi, Miss Vanessa. <laughs> Welcome back. Hi. Hello. <laughs> okay, then. Ni request should be a minimum. Hello. I can't remember. Thank you. I'm happy. I'm sorry. I'm reunion. I'm happy. 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 I'm the beach is literally right here. Like, this is the water. It's such a pretty nice view. You guys can see the entire restaurant back here. But unfortunately, it started kind of raining, so we're gonna go transfer inside. Nicolette and I had some of our funniest moments ever in this restaurant. Yes. <laughs> like, probably just like the most iconic jokes ever. And to this day, we still say the same jokes. It's such a special, memorable restaurant for us. And I'm so happy that we're here together literally almost exactly a year later. We just got back to the hotel and I have to finish editing. I ended up not being able to finish editing and I'm so jealous because Nick <laughs> Nicolette is gonna go have a swim and I'm so jealous. I haven't even made use of the pool yet. Is it warm? Yep. Wow. Good morning, Stan Stans. I ended up sleeping at like 5 a.m. yesterday, editing until like 4. On vacation, I still want to upload videos every single week, like I said. But today, I ended up coming to my favorite mall when I was growing up. If you guys have seen my past Filipino vlogs, you guys probably know exactly where I am. This is Ayala Center, Cebu. Recently, there's been a lot of malls opening here in Cebu, but this is still my OG. I've only been in the Philippines for like 4 days, and I've already been to this specific mall like 2 times. And I'm gonna meet up with Nicole later, so I'm really excited. I'm going to Nicolette's favorite cafe slash restaurant. It's called Abaca. Last time I went there, I had this really delicious like pork bowl or something and I really want it again. I honestly love this mall so much. I have so many memories here growing up. Every single weekend, I would beg my mom to drive me here. I just love the architecture and the landscaping and everything. It also used to be like the only place to do anything in Cebu, so... <laughs> Oh my god, you guys, I'm so disappointed. Apparently, they change the menu every single year. So last year, when I came in February, they had a completely different menu. And I remember getting this, like, pork rice bowl thing, and I was so obsessed with it. They didn't have it. So today, I had to get, like, this stupid chicken waffle that wasn't even that good. Sorry. <laughs> it was honestly so disappointing because I always go to Hohokam. You guys know that I always get a chicken waffle there and they have the best chicken waffle in all of Tokyo. And this one just tasted very like garlicky and oniony. No offense, Nicolette. I know it's your favorite restaurant of all time. But the calamansi juice was good. It was very, very fresh. You guys know what calamansi is? It's like Filipino lime or like Filipino lemon. It's this small and it's green. It's native to the Philippines, but they have it in other parts of Southeast Asia. Let me know if you guys know what calamansi is and what do you guys call it in your country? <laughs> Bitch. Stewie was wearing crop tops everywhere, people would be like, oh my god, look, bayuk o bayuk, like pointing at him. But now that it's too hot, I feel like I just have to take the shit off. <laughs> Hi! Hi! <laughs> These were my schoolmates and classmates from when I was in nursing school. This is Carissa Ninya Katya. Hi guys! I got you we're looking for swimwear because we are going on a trip tomorrow, so I'm looking for swimming shorts. You guys, I need your help. Should I get the purple one, the green one, or the green stripes? Which one should I get? I feel like the purple one is the best. I don't own anything purple. 
Ah, gampang yo. Masa ni oi, sabak ke ayo? I need a top. I think this is the perfect top to go with my purple shorts. I look like such an angel. Remember how a couple of videos ago, Marriott literally gave us one of these each? I ran out of cartridges, so I'm just getting some for my trip tomorrow. We drove to New Star, which is this new mall slash casino slash hotel. And we are going to eat Filipino food at Cafe Laguna. <laughs> Cafe Laguna is my favorite restaurant in the Philippines, I've decided. And Filipino food is my favorite cuisine in the world. I got myself coconut juice. Let me know in the comments if you like coconut juice, because I know a lot of people say it tastes like cum, and that's why I love it. Of course, when I come to my favorite Filipino restaurant eating my favorite Filipino food, I have to order my favorite Filipino dish. Oh my god, pork sinigang is my favorite in the world. I was thinking about this earlier. That way, funks. Oh, also, this is calamansi. I was thinking about this earlier, but I didn't know if I was allowed to say it because it sounded like I was shitting on Cebu. But I grew up in Cebu, and the only way I was able to fall in love with this city was by leaving. <laughs> I feel like that's just how it works though. Like when you spend time away from that place, you just fall in love more and more. And I can safely say that Cebu is one of my favorite places in the world. It's one of the happiest places in the world for me. Eating Filipino food in Cebu, next level of happiness. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's World of Mama. This is our first time seeing each other this trip, by the way. We've both been so busy. Mama, genki. Cebu, do. <laughs> Look at how beautiful the weather is today. Nicolette and I did that last year. Do you guys remember parasailing? Look at how beautiful and relaxing this spot is. I love just laying here and looking at the ocean. It's kind of scary. You can literally see the water. It's so nice and clear, and you can see all the fishes. Wait, what? She's so scared. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Let's take some bread. Boop. Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh. We're gonna try to give the biggest piece. We have a mission tonight. We are gonna take a trip down memory lane, sure. <laughs> Growing up in the Philippines, they would have these bikes that would deliver ice cream to different neighborhoods. And there was this really delicious ice popsicle stick thing. It was called jelly tongue, and it was literally like a tongue. If you're from the Philippines, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It literally was like the shape of a tongue and a texture of a tongue. <laughs> 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 and it's such a memorable thing for her because that was that my was sexual, sexual awakening. awakening. <laughs> <laughs> Her sexual awakening was sucking on jelly tongue. I don't know what's in it, but it doesn't melt. And I remember just going... <laughs> <laughs> so that's our goal tonight. But the mission is, uh, because it's like right outside the hotel, like outside the gates, we have to like walk. We're kind of scared because like walking at night in the Philippines isn't very smart, but that's our mission tonight. Take off your jewelry. Let's go. We are about to walk out the gates of the resort. Even the outside of the resort is so nice. This is what the streets of the Philippines looks like. Happy day. Woo! Woo! Si Lugan sa Opao. The 7-Eleven is right here. Obviously, it doesn't compare to the 7-Elevens in Japan, but I honestly love 7-Elevens here in the Philippines. It's honestly kind of giving Japanese convenience store, though. Like, they have every single essential. They honestly have everything. They even have snail white. <laughs> they, uh, uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I love Cebu, so I don't think they have it. It was a different brand. We're probably just gonna buy like a random ice cream tonight because I actually am craving ice cream. But it's our goal in this video to get that jelly tongue. So stay tuned. Look, the staff put his water in here too. <laughs> 
Soy Master. I mean, like, there's a lot of different drinks in the Philippines, too. Why is Japan super overhyped? Why isn't this more appreciated? Like, we have so many things in the Philippines. These soy milks used to be my favorite. I'm gonna get this ube flavor one. Honestly, because it's the only one that doesn't need a bottle opener, but this looks so yummy. See, like, Japan doesn't have this. Oh my god, oh my god, the babarian one. I want that. <gasps> The munchkins. We're taking the nice little golf cart all the way to the beach because we're gonna have our ice cream by the beach. OMG. Oh my god, we found the jelly fucking tonga. Wee! Ready na kamo sop sop? Yes. Oh my god, Throba. No, it's still the same. Oh my god, it's turning into a tongue. Hala, na tongue na siya. Do you guys want some? We just saw our grandpa. Go run, go run, go run. Bas lusan yun. Bas tos na kayo, tama. Na uwang na kung sop sop. You guys, I don't know what's been up with me today. I literally slept all day. I think it's just like all the festivities in the weekend. I was so tired. We woke up for breakfast. We had to go to work afterwards. I went back to sleep until like 2 p.m. And my mom called me. So like we spent a little bit of time feeding the fishes and stuff. And then I went back to sleep until like 6 p.m. Now we are at my childhood mom. I am honestly still not energized. Maybe it's like the coffee. Maybe I do need coffee. Let's go get dinner. We have a few plans tonight. We're gonna go get a massage. Of course, we're back at Cafe Laguna, so I'm not gonna be vlogging too much of this experience. But we got this seasick made of bangos. This is actually my first time hearing about it, and this is my first time seeing it. It doesn't look as appetizing as normal seasick. It looks like when your mom picks out the bones for you, and this is what the plate looks like. I wanna taste it. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna taste just like bangos. Seasick, I think, means sizzling, minced. I don't know. I mean, it just looks like fish. Uy, lang miya, uy! Nungawa, uy! Numido! Time to go get a massage! We're at this spa right now. This is what it looks like. It's giving, like, dungeon. We're gonna get room service. And she has to say... Chocolate mawas. And... Chest cake. Okay, let's... <laughs> Hi Miss, good evening. I good morning. Hello. Miss, pade pa man mag-order dessert, no? Wala na dessert, Miss. Maski ang chas ka, ke? Hello? Maski ang chas ka, ke? We had to resort to getting Magnum from 7-Eleven. We're just gonna enjoy this nice little night view and probably go to bed because I have an early morning tomorrow with my mother. Good night. Hello, Stan Stans. I'm just over here enjoying the view. We just had lunch with my mom. Today is actually my last day here in the Philippines and I'm going back tomorrow. I know at first I said I had no anxiety at all staying here in the Philippines. And that's true, but I realized that this week, like as the time I had to go home, got nearer and nearer. My anxiety also just got worse and worse. I don't know, I love Japan so much. I love Tokyo, Tokyo's my dream city. I'm living in my dream city, I'm living in my dream life. But just like this tropical vacation vibes, it's just like next level happiness for me. I can't really imagine myself living here again. Like I said, I fell in love with my home country when I left. Remember the thing I talked to you guys about in the beginning, just like looking like I'm really out of touch with life and everything. I'm not sure if you guys noticed in this video, but I've only been like showing little bits and pieces of this trip. It kind of looks like I'm just like going different places, different days, all over the place. I want to be as authentic as possible, but at the same time, I don't want to show the wrong thing. Because I don't want to get affected by, like, things people say online. I don't want to... 
I think I need to journal because I need to know exactly what I want to say. But I'm sure you guys know what I mean. Anyway, you guys, before I end this video, my mom and I are just gonna enjoy the water park, enjoy the beach. I'm gonna show my mom a really good time here because she took me here when I was really young. And now it's my turn to give her a good time here at J Park Island Resort, my dream resort. So let's do that.